Hello, people of you that's making Today, I'll be using the verb activate. In this set, uh, teenage verb on the friends that I like, get teenagers. And um, teenagers are inside what college go to. Now, at the beginning and end of the prayers, and it's, um, turns out that it's gone from email or fan letters asking different stuff like that. Harry gonna get a girlfriend or something like that. Um, one of the questions is if you got to see things for about teenagers. So if I do an episode that uh, set about 10 years in the future, even though, uh, I think Buford said that, if, that it's better to been over to teenage house for 11 years. So I don't really know. Like, in the scene, it's like that. And when it in the show, so it's like 20 or something. And uh, this so I don't know. Anyway, with the orders, uh, Forbes is going to school in uh, uh, London and kind of starting college, like just studying about law and that. Now, Deke, that's the uh, finished school, and now it's accepted by the professor. And Buford. He's going to film school, and he actually the only character of my own who uh, has a different voice, because her voice sounds different. And I like, kind of like it, and I kind of like his look. This looks good for him. <laughs> uh, also, in this, in this volume, he points out that Isabella had a team for him. I think he had, because he got a table at the high school. So, what he says, or I think, or whatever. And then he was just uh, really confused and mind is blown. So he's trying to think what this all means. And um, with the flashback girls and I think his friends try to get the two together by kind of a magic day or something. I don't know for that that he thinks they time they really listen to him so oh, oh yeah with uh, Carol became a, a commander and Margaret got the uh, retired and then in some somewhere that looks like Hawaii or something I remember and had an old man beard. I don't know. Um Terry goes to do work, they don't need a, a mate for let him have a midnight crisis. And he explains why he wants it in song. And a lot of these songs, it looks horrible. And why was it all a bit like crisis? It's like you're acting the night or stupid or crazy. Or stupidly crazy, whatever. A lot of things he does is just, I don't know. Like he, a lot of pirate folks says, they the entire to go around the world. Or wrestle alligators. I get to, to do a sport kind of, uh, Put that crap into like a dumpster truck or something, and the guy gives him a normal one in yellow. And even the go the skydiving and sports, the instructor and the instructor just puts him out when and he after he says run with her. It's just crazy. And then he just decides to get rid of the device and see if they go back to the Novel life and the same carry as what other people can go bowling. Uh, the device actually goes on for his dad and he's got this mini crisis and this bit with the brand of coffee that he uses. And uh, then when it's for, uh, Phineas points out that his dad has something called charity for the, uh, all her extracurricular activities, he tried to uh, Go to the command restaurant where she works to say goodbye, but she has to miss her. And my friend, one of the best songs in the entire show plays, uh, What Might Have Been. It's a beautiful song, done a lot of the scenes with that genius and the Isabella together, and so met Isabella as I was younger and then older. I don't know what they might have been like if they were active couple. Or like, 
or like in high school or something. And I took straight. I guess it's like a talk singing song, but still. So some of the songs are just great as well. And if I may hope, I'm guessing it's responding to one saying what you know to is better. And I mean, yeah, it's about to find out that she means that you liked her while they were in high school, but yeah. Got her, I had to get her after their friends come out. And give her just a bit, give the outfit again. Ugh. Uh, Phoenix has to go to, go to uh, Isabella's school. Uh, they really go off and then, uh, the next is all up. And did that, did that for her. And it turns out she's gonna with Ferb. Yeah, that was just, uh, that was weird. Like a big age gap. I think it was about 16 when, uh, Ferb was like 10 or something. I don't know what the, what I age Ferb was supposed to be. So, so weird. And that's the thing that you need to ride. And I just have some bringer, bring them as, or catch up to Isabella. And when they do, and they have, and he and they guys have their special cards, they finally snog each other. It just finally happens. It's just dead, and it's just for a moment. And that's a cannon. And yes, they kept the four, but one was just a, a different universe, and the other was like a, the migrant race, so solo. And it just ends with that one of the creators, I think Swampy has something, this crime at the end, he's still crying when he's playing it, what might have been over the credits. That's what the phrase. If I could describe this episode in one word, it would be finally. Then it finally finds out about it was Jaden Floor for him. They finally get together. They finally kiss. They finally, finally, finally. Okay, the three episodes or something that Judith Marks was a little bit crazy, but eh, a little crisis. The UZR or the stupid. And the music was great, and the, just one great song in this. I don't know what it keeps on to her sing, that's a horrible thing of voice. Whatever. Um, just a sweet episode. And um, next time would be uh, the series from that finale where uh, the got shot say it's summer. But for Judith Merck and Candace, it seems like the last day is repeating on, on itself. And uh, Judith Merck tried to keep uh, the star and win him or the happy or whatever. Um, yeah, that's all the summary I can think of to try this job, so, hmm. Anyway, so, that's fine. I'll see you. I'll see you guys later.